Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program. Hopefully we can get more done this episode than the last. Last episode was a resounding failure, both in content and quality. I screwed up the rendering entirely, got double, managed to get double black bars on each side, not sure how. But at least it had a little bit of background noise. Anyway, uh, we also lost our astronauts, the first three deaths, unfortunately. Prometheus 1 was gone. Uh, I took the liberty of modifying the design a bit off camera, and here we go. I, I gave in and added boosters. This will get us up there a little bit quicker. Fair few there. I want to go one, two, nine. Nine boosters. Yep. We come up, and we've just got our extra fuel tank up here, and another RCS here just to help us maneuver in space. And we're just going to jump right into this. Our mission goal today is to slingshot round the moon and back. It's a tourist, you know, it's a tourist sort of vacation. We're going to take photos, have a lovely time, we've got packed sandwiches. Off we go, because no missing around today. Wait for the lag. Da, 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 da. Here we go. And throttle up. RCS. Uh, SAS, rather. No countdown. Straight off. We're in too much of a hurry for a countdown. Yes. I'm still learning with the uh, Windows Media Player, or Movie Maker rather. <laughs> it's it's a bit of a lumbering beast, you know. But I'm getting by, getting by. You know, learning. It's all learning. See, they did not last long at all. But they got us just that first two kilometers. You know, got us a good speed up there. Ah. And on we go. Once again, here we are at the launch phase in the thickest part of the atmosphere. Always takes a while. Bill and Bob are not very happy about this at all. I'm not sure what they have to worry about right now. Everything's actually going pretty fine. There's a slight overheating on the engine. Yeah, there is, isn't there? That'll be fine, that'll be fine. There's no need to worry about overheating. Just throw a glass of water on it, I'm sure it'll be fine. But we are slowly picking up some surface speed here. Coming up to 90 meters per second. Lovely jubbly. SES is maxed out here, trying to keep us stable. No wobble today, no wobble today. There we go, I'm repeating my words again. Zoom out a bit because of the rocket sound. What is that little audio glitch when you zoom out? I'm not sure what that's about. I've heard it on a couple other people's videos as well. Mm. Just got done uh, watching the interview video with Harvester, the brain behind this game. He has got a lot of lovely ideas planned, and I'm just, when I think about this game, I'm just so excited about the possibilities. Uh, he said he's going to add like 50 planets and moons. Probably more moons than planets, of course, but that's just amazing. I, I really cannot wait for that. Oh, I've barely gone to the, you know, I haven't gone to the moon yet, and so much more to do there will be. Also plans for uh, part-built rovers, so go on a bit more of an exploration. I do plan on doing some roving using probably the C7 uh, plane mod, using the wheels from that or something. But we'll see. We'll see. We have to get up here first. It all takes time. It all takes practice. Hopefully. Ooh, yeah, we're picking up some real speed now. Alright, I have to pay, to pay attention. I have to pay attention. Uh, this could be bad. Or 
or not because we got rid of that. That's fine, that's fine. Let's just stop spinning, please. We're going to turn precision control on for the moment. And I think this is the way we were going originally. There we go. Coming over to the 90 degree mark. Wasn't as <laughs> wasn't as smooth as I'd like it to be. But hey. Also burning a lot of RCS like this. So we're gonna turn that off. Alright. And we're locked in place. We'll just check where we're going. 78. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Are we facing the right direction? Sort of. We're going up. We're definitely going up. Alright. How's that doing? Ah yes, there we go, that's good. I hate, the, hate the way this always starts so low, or, you know, it's minimized. It should be nice and stuck out like this all the time. I'm gonna just spin around a little bit to not do my head in. Full throttle. We're just pushing that orbit out of the ground. Pushing that orbit out of the ground. So it's tricky first moment. So I'm not going to go for a perfectly circular orbit. You know, just enough to keep an orbit. And then when we come around, we're going to slingshot for the moon. Hopefully, we can get there, and have no trouble, and get back. As I was saying about last episode, it was. Uh, pretty much uh, a failure. There was actually an extra like 20 minutes of footage, which was just me floundering and floundering about in space. Terrible. You did not miss a thing. Alright. Let's go. Let's drop it. Let's drop it. Just gonna nudge up a little bit off the horizon. Yes. Push that back a little. There you go. Are we going to be able to do this? Are we moving fast enough? I don't think you are moving fast enough. Because we're pointing down. Come on. Enough. straight at all now, is it? Ah, it's because it rose up a bit, isn't it? There. I always do this so well when I'm not recording, you know. <laughs> come on, come round and pick me up. We're going to be entering the atmosphere pretty soon. Oh, good lord, we're at 35k. This isn't good at all. Come on. Nope. We're done. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Bad show, old chap. Bad show. <sighs> well, let's not die on impact this time. Oh, God. See, I did it again. I accidentally put on parachute. This time it didn't rip off. Oh, that's, uh... Bonus. Where do the parts go? I'm getting a little bit of lag. It's alright though, it's alright. Well, we did not get far at all there. That was terrible. We're gonna go for another try on that. Just speed you on your way a little. Come on. Ten kilometers. They're all happy to be crashing down to the earth. Seven kilometers. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
And we started to spin there. I think that, that was our problem. We span and I got thrown all over the place. You better slow down soon. straight for our relaunch. Relaunch, put the rocket... No, 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 Whoops. Well, that broke. Do I dare click relaunch? Oh, dear. Go, parachute. Well, I quickly killed another six pilots. Back to the vehicle assembly building. Structural failure. The liquid engine. They barked. Alright. This is not turning out as well as I wanted it to. Perhaps if we mount these lower. Lower than oh dear, I didn't have three-way symmetry on. A doy doy. I'll just highlight that little. You're gonna play silly buggers with me. Sometimes these are just so difficult to grab hold of. Ooh. There we go. There we go. We got three-way symmetry on. Sort of still mounted. It's gonna make a spin, I know. These little things. These little things do my not. They do I not. Alright. We're all mounted up. Should I put some thins on the damn thing to keep it steady? Nah, of course not. Please, please don't fall. Yes, she's fine. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 no. This is an emergency procedure. this one. We're doing terrible today. We killed six Kerbal Nauts. Broke the budget on rocketry. The, uh, the Kerbal taxpayers are not going to like this one bit. Oh well. At least they're happy. Smiles. 
Smiles und Sunshine. Slowly descending. Better than quickly. We'll get to the moon one day, I swear. <laughs> this is this is turning out ridiculous. I think I'm gonna have to redesign the entire rocket this time. Yep, screw it. You're way too long. You throw yourself around way too much. You're done. All right, we're gonna go with this. This is our standard. Get us up there. Put one of those on this time. We're gonna stick you on there. Three-way symmetry. Let's see what we can do like this. Less mass, but we still got to get it up there and maneuver it. There's going to be more mass now, I guess. Alright. Something like this. They are where they have always been. Right there. Right. She's shorter. She's shorter. Hopefully that will help some. Yes, there are already tried and true designs I could use. But where is the fun in that? There is none. That's the answer. Alright, a little slap. Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> oh, we've got to fix that. Alright, that's a bit better. Alright, do we need fins? Do we need fins? I think we probably will do now. Grab you, a three way symmetry on. Wow, that was also terrible. I think terrible is my word of the day. I'm guessing this is. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Let's see if she can take off. Might have to fire those engines all at once. Yep. Alright. Just making a lot of mess. End flight. Back to the VAB. And we're going to uh, just rearrange this a little. Move that into there. Those three to fire with the main engines at the bottom. Like so. We are really going through the budget today. There we go, straight up. A lot faster. Hopefully she'll have enough fuel to get us up into space. I've been thinking about installing the uh, KW Challenger pack. A bunch of add-ons, all sorts of rocket bits. Is that all that ready? It's a good pack, it seems to be uh, well balanced, so everyone says. Uh, lots of, lots of uh, large and small pieces. Engines and boosters and... I'm pretty sure it's got a rather nice moon lander in it as well, or at least parts for one. Seems to be doing well, seems to be doing well. Fins are not spazzing out too much, so well, that goes to our first three, uh, our first tier of fuel. Hopefully we can make it. Our Kerbalots are happy about the situation, and so they should, until they realize that the engine's overheating ever so slightly. Yep, yeah, there we go. Bill is the first to notice, as the horror appears on his face. 
I've never once exploded because of an overheating engine. Alright, calm down. Hmm, we're getting up there. Not sure whether we'll be able to make it though. May have to add in another layer of fuel tanks. The engines are just staying pretty warm there, that's fine. That's entirely fine. Finally got round to seeing Apollo 18 the other day. That poor movie. It's like an old dog that needs to be taken out back and shot. I mean, they really tried hard. No spoilers or anything. Right? But uh, they, re they did try hard to go for a realistic sort of Apollo mission sort of thing. And then stick all sorts of little bits of horror, but, you know, it's basically space meets Blair Witch. And it's not, not very good at either of them. Uh, I mean, it was worth a watch. It was worth a watch, but it took me two attempts, two attempts to get through it. Perhaps in this launch sequence, this little launch sequence here, I should uh, do some sort of movie review of some kind, <laughs> just to t kill the time. <laughs> Up you go. Oh, good lord. 60,000. Wow. See? My end is scrambling again. What have we got here? 155k? Well, it got us up there. It got us up there. We're just going to slowly nudge ourselves around. Our speed is actually dropping rather rapidly. That's fine. We're just reaching apoapsis. We're just going to spin ever so slightly around. I think I've got precision control on still there.